Hey guys, girls, and people of the internet. We are back today with my special guest star. Hey, Dana. Last man blanding. It took a long time to actually react. Uh, there's a little lag, but... Oh, it's fine, it's fine. But oh, anyway, I... we are here to talk about our opinion on the Wii U. The Wii U. The Wii U, as I call it, yeah. the Wii U. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. The Wii U. Oh god, internet connection problems. Oh boy. Oh, we're, go we we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, don't worry, we're good. It's all, okay, it's all, okay. anyway, back on topic. The Hell Wii yeah, back on. We're on the Wii U. So basically, we're going to talk about how we think the Wii U failed and how it is failing at the moment and how how long we've drank it, how long we reckon it will last before it just dies out completely. Oh, God. Fuck you. So, All right. go, you went, go you went on your opinion. Do your opinion okay. first. Fantastic. Um, the Wii U is pretty much fucking Nintendo combining everything that they've made in the last decade. So, they're combining the Game Boy, they're combining the DS, mm -hmm. they're combining fucking the Wii, um, and that that's now in the game they're all playing it in the fucking one and it is a commercial fucking flop yeah, it, it generally fucking, is dude it fucking it's like that's not even a joke it's a fucking flop it's like I think they sold like less like a hundred thousand consoles or some shit no I think it's about a million oh well I mean still like compared to the fact that you know like fucking Xbox is selling hundreds of millions of consoles you know? yeah and then the Wii itself sold um sold like 70 million units yeah and that's like normally because fucking like think about it like the Wii okay like that was back when motion controls had never been fucking heard of it, yeah you know? so it's like that was fucking kind of a big deal but hmm. now they fucking have motion control on fucking everything you got the, you got the playstation fucking you got the playstation jiggle <laughs> playstation you got, jiggle <laughs> you got that's awesome you got the fucking you got the fucking uh, Connect. Yeah. Fucking God knows that's not even a thing. That's, I, that's, that's, just, fucking... that's just the brainchild of a retarded man just standing there. I think I'm gonna put a camera and motion controls together. Bebop Bam Connect was born. Whoa! It's like that one thing that Sony came out with the eye toy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fucking... Which worked. Like 50 fucking years ago. Yeah, and it works perfectly. Yeah. Fucking, and you know, just, like, it was like 2010 as well. Sure, yeah, we're gonna make sure fucking Connect is just not fucking work at all. <laughs> but believe me, it does not work. Oh man, these hardcore gamers are worried that the Connect is gonna make all the games hardcore. Well, don't worry, hardcore gamers. The Connect doesn't fucking work, so... Try to play Connect Star Wars. That game does not work. Dude, like, fuck, man, they're like, do jumping jacks! Yeah. <laughs> so, Connect Star Wars is like, do a fool's kick! Swing your arm in, a, in, a, in an 8 degree angle. I'm sitting there going, I can do this, but there's no space! I can't do it! I, I, where am I supposed to hook my fucking Xbox up at? Like at a fucking gym? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. This fucking they're gonna hook my fucking connect up over here by the weightlifting machine. Yeah. Just... Looking just squats and laterals before I start swinging my fake lightsaber around. I generally think that is the actual um, thesis behind the connect. What what about feces inside the connect? Oh, uh, basically return of the return. Ah, uh, what is it? Um. What's that game? That Return of Nightmares or Rise of Nightmares? Oh, that uh, game! Oh, that game! Fucking House of the Dead, fucking motion. <laughs> yeah, it's like House of the Dead minus the f bombs it's, and. It's what it is, dude. It's like House of the Dead four. If they ever, or wait, they already made that. Yeah. House of the Dead. Eight. So House of the Dead eight minus House of the Dead eight. If everyone got lazy and didn't make the game properly. Oh, that game. Yeah, pretty much. That's what, if everyone that was like working on House of the Dead just got laid, and then they're like, "All right, now let's actually make something." Yeah, <laughs> like just, okay, they just stop it sniffing they cocaine. All that fucking creative, they got all that creative juice out of us. Let's start making some shit that's not creative. Yeah, <laughs> that's basically oh, it. And that's what happened with the Wii U, basically as well. Like, 
They got so un uncreative with the name and the design and the games. It just generally didn't work. Yeah, because like Nintendo just assumed people would fucking like fall for it. They're like, we have so much shit to be going to fucking do. You guys are going to be blown away. Yeah, it's literally. Like, oh, you mean like when the fucking console comes out, we're gonna be getting all like these crazy fucking super awesome games? Uh, no, <laughs> no. So if we get we get uh, we get Zelda HD. It's like uh, no. Well, I mean, we are re releasing a Wind Waker in about four years. <laughs> yeah, generally, uh, it's like don't worry, you have a Mario to play. It's like oh, we played that game. We played that game before. Though. It's like no, you haven't. It has a it has an extra syllable at the end of the name. It's now called. You think you played Mario? <laughs> this is not your normal Mario. <laughs> it's basically, like this Mario. is Mario. Oh, you, Mario. you control it. You will see what we did. It's like you will Mario. see what we did. Not like it is. <laughs> it's like you are the controller. Oh wait, we've already stole that from someone else. <laughs> it's like oh crap, oh. that's connect, that's connect, isn't it? It's like, oh. Don't you see how nice the background look? I don't think the fucking backgrounds have shit to do with the platforming game. Yeah. It's like zombie is like, we were we have a game which is so new you have never seen it before. Zombies in London. It's like everyone just sits down and goes, wow, that seems quite cool. Everyone starts playing it. It's like, oh, this is actually pretty awesome. And then they get to the end of the game. It's like, oh, I'm at the end of the game. Nope! And then the helicopter gets crashed and you have to Wait, go through Wait, there's the actually an ending to fucking Zombie U? Yeah, it's like Sean Bean says, like, oh, you have to go to Tower of London and you go and see a helicopter. You're like, oh, I, 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 I want to <laughs> wake up one day and I want to go into that cafe. And see you there, Mr. Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> Happy. But first, you gotta go past a bunch of zombies. <laughs> it's basically what that would be if Michael Kane narrated the whole game. Oh my game. god. That is, it is like your character's like, oh, fucking, uh, let's see, a sword? No, no, no. Baseball bat? No, no, no. Sledgehammer? No. Ah, cricket bat. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Like, it's like, I have to be so stereotypical about England as well, like cricket bat. Like, whatever, you fucking play as different characters, you know? Like, you're fucking as set to playing as Bruce Wayne. It's like, Master Wayne. <laughs> I need you. It's like, Master <laughs> Wayne, I told you not to go outside. That's why you died. Like, you don't, don't fucking go outside, but I'm gonna need you to go outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's generally what it is. Go find some batteries. <laughs> it's then, open up the fucking bat cave. <laughs> And then get all that cafe where I could see you so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I reckon that would be a better game, just having uh, Malcolm Kane just narrate the whole game. God, it's just like, fucking so ridiculous because, like, dude, like, oh, how does that game even fucking work? Like, what is. What is the fucking, like, theory behind that game even working? It's like, okay, It doesn't so really have a story to it, though. You go to Tower of London. You start off as, like, a random character, and then if you get bit once, you die, and then it makes the game harder, right? Yeah. But it's like, what the fuck could the guy in the fucking control room possibly want from you? Yeah, it's, it's basically like Dark Souls. Like, that game's basically like Dark Souls, but slightly more annoying. Because it, it just doesn't fucking make sense. Because it's basically me, Dark it's like, Souls, but if you die, you lose everything you have. Like, like in Dark Souls, you only lose your XP. In this game, if you die, you lose everything. Yeah. If you can't find your body, you die again. Then you lose everything from that one character that you had. But if you find your fucking body in fucking Zombie U, you're probably gonna die. Yeah, because your body, your body tends to a zombie. Because <laughs> your body's gonna try and kill you. <laughs> zombies will eat you. That's what the game should have yeah, been called. That's... Zombies will eat you. Zombies will eat you. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's not really a story here. What I'm gonna need you to do is leave this safe room and go find a very specific brand of wine. <laughs> yeah. It's like, go and meet the Queenie in Buckingham Palace and see what's going on there. I'm like, okay, I went to Buckingham Palace. It's like, I go in there, oh, the Queen's dead. I was like, oh, crap. Oh, wow. Is that fucking really a big surprise? And then, you're, <laughs> and then the most funniest thing is, is the advertisements where people, like, you know when they're like, the, the adverts come on TV and they're like, people like, 
pressing in codes and waiting for the door to open. Like just turning backwards and seeing the like the yeah. zombies are there. I was doing that. I, was, I just I got really bored and said, "Ah, oh, screw it. I'm going on the internet and find the code and just tap it in." I was, right. I was saying, I don't want to waste my life just tapping random codes, waiting for the door to open, and then just go on the internet and just find out what the code is. Oh, oh fuck! I remember that. Yeah, like that was like a big gimmick. They're like, "Do you have what it takes?" It's like, nope. The internet does. Oh, but speaking of which, <laughs> the internet has everything. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of which, uh, with fucking gameplay, okay, since we're talking about the Wii U, um, dude, like, dude, like fucking the Wii U used in that, it's totally fucking, like, it doesn't make any fucking sense at all. <laughs> uh, the control just looks really weird. Well, it's fucking bulkier than a goddamn Sega Game Gear. <laughs> yeah. It's like, that's what they fucking... Just, like, dude, seriously, like, I think a Sega Game Gear weighs less than a fucking Wii Pad. I know, like, I mean, dude, fucking... even with the six, even with the six AAA, well, six, like, Jonal's batteries size of the Game Gear, it would weigh less than a Wii U controller. Yeah, you, yeah, you can fucking bludgeon somebody to death yeah. with the fucking pad, You could probably bludgeon someone you know, to death with like, the gamepad and still use it afterwards. You're in, the heat of the moment. You're, in the you're in the heat of the moment using the motion controls to fight zombies next to you now. So you're fucking you wanted for fratricide, yeah. you know? Like, it was generally, I think that would happen, like... It's basically that they got... They basically got an original, like, GameCube controller that just slapped an iPad Mini in the middle of it. Said, so that's our Wii U controller. They're fucking... I was sitting there, I was sitting there going, this is an iPad with a controller next to it. <laughs> this is an iPad <laughs> that has a fucking GameCube controller cut in half and placed on both fucking sides. Yeah. <laughs> That's generally what it is. And then they're like, there you go. <laughs> this is a brand new console. <laughs> and then Reggie's like, my body is ready for Wii Fit. I was sitting there going, no more Wii Fit. Please, just make a good game. Please, the Wii had only had like four games that were good. That that would have appealed to a, a, a more than a three year old. Everyone knows what the good games on the Wii were. Okay. Zelda. I'll, I'll list them all now. The top four games on the Wii. <clears throat> Boogie. Fantastic, fantastic game. Um, I don't know if you played, played Boogie. a little bit of it. Well, well, just know that no one's playing it because it's unplayable. <laughs> um, so Boogie. Um, Red Steel. Fucking brilliant. I mean, that game played so well. <laughs> uh, Wow, God, it, it's just so good. I know. Um, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, me or we, me you, we you, whatever, me resort. Uh, the uh, one where you fly around in the airplanes. That one's fucking great. Uh, and then the fourth one, and it's the big one, the big elephant in the room that we're all aware of. We bowling, fucking. <laughs> I think it's so fucking sad that it's like literally the best game on the Wii was the one that fucking comes literally programmed into the fucking console. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, that's all in my mind. It's about, it's about five, maybe six games that were actually, you could say, oh, that's actually enjoyable. And they were... Yeah, but like, good games, they were also on other fucking consoles. Yeah, you had like Xenoblade Chronicles. That was would have been better on the Xbox or the PS3. And you're sitting there going... Why was it on here? It would have sold more copies if it was on the PS3 or Xbox. Because Nintendo doesn't fucking care. They're like, they're like, oh, well, I mean, we still got Mario. We <laughs> still got Mario and Zelda. I was like, we can milk those we games. Got, we, can milk, we can milk the fuck out of them. <laughs> it's like, like, dude, like, they all just sit in the conference like, room, like, with water and then uh, Reggie fees them, just sit in the conference room and going, we need a one or more game for the Wii U. We have not got Zelda. We have not got any games that we found good. What about uh, Mario? It's like, oh yeah, Mario would be a good idea. Mario just sitting at the fucking conference <laughs> table and he's like, oh, I, I don't know. I've been in so many It's like, games how about I, I... we just get your game from the Wii and put the U on the end of it and then mock it for well, a new I don't game? I know about that. That's probably not good. And then, you know, fucking Shigeru Miyamoto reaches under the table and starts fucking making. <laughs> Mario's like, <"Woo!" laughs> It's like piling money on top of Mario. It's like, oh yeah, Mario's your money. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Throw a bunch of fucking coins at him and he fucking like starts cutting them up and snorting them. And that's basically what happened with New Super Mario Bros. U. It's like, it was nothing new, but just put a U on the end of it. <laughs> It has an extra syllable! <laughs> it's basically what every single Wii U game had at the beginning of its life cycle. It just had an extra syllable on the end of it. 
Zelda. It's like Zelda. It's like Zelda year. It's like zombie year. Accessible. It's like it's like a game that's been on the yeah. Xbox and PS3. It isn't accessible. The brand new Zelda game. Zelda Ocarina of Majora's Mask. Skyward Sword or Wind Waker. Ocarina of Majora Skyward Wind Waker. <laughs> <laughs> it generally, I think the... You! I reckon the last game that was good on the Wii was Skyward Sword. That's not, that's not, that's not even saying very much. That game's not even... Yeah, it's like that game wasn't even that good. It was a good game. Like, it, was be- it was better than... It was better than Twilight Princess, Dude. in my opinion. No, it wasn't. Twilight Princess was fucking in the, On the GameCube, though, the Wii version was not very good. Okay, the Wii version was okay. I mean, it was, but the GameCube version, I gotta agree. Dude, it was so fucking... God, that game was sick. <laughs> it was like... It was? It was. I liked it. But, and then Discovered Sword came out. It's like, I could generally be Link today, so I'm gonna swing my sword around for a little while. I'm gonna go play Link while all the other games look at <laughs> with their heads turned up, just fucking shaking their fucking heads. They're just like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> so giving the like, yeah, I'm singing my sword like Link's singing the sword. I'll just sit it going, this is generally quite fun. Oh god. And then the Wii U comes out, like, oh, we have a good the game that every single fan has ever wanted. It's like, Wind Waker HD, it's like, god damn it. Wind Waker, Wind Waker HD. Oh! It's like, why could you just make Majora's Mask HD? Then it would have sold like hotcakes. Because they're like, nah, Majora's Mask is too complicated for children. No, it's not. It would. have... <laughs> <laughs> That's my point, though, dude. They're like, they're like, oh, what's this hardcore game? <laughs> it's like, what the? Hard- what is a hardcore game? We only use the kids. No, we we like a little children. Basically, basically, Nintendo is a pedophile of the um gaming ga- the gaming scene. Fucking, you know, they got fucking. It's just got fucking like. He's running around in a white white van with some candy. Yeah, yeah, a white van. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like Mario. Yeah. It's like Mario. It's, it's like Mario's time machine. So, ha ha ha. You come over here and play with my Wii U. <laughs> it's like, oh, kids, look at my new. Well, okay, Mario, like, look at my new Wii U game. It's like, oh, look, Mario, new Wii U game. Oh, it's just the same oh, thing from two years ago. Oh, no, just get into my van. You'll see how much different it is, you know? And then everyone hops onto the fucking bandwagon. It's, it's like band Captain Planet wagon, style. You know? And then they all get into the van and they're all like, oh, this game's. Okay, I mean, you know, but I'm not really digging this whole Wii U thing. I think I'm gonna leave. And then Mario's like, "You're not fucking going home." <laughs> you know, he starts driving, starts driving really fast. This is basically for every. Give me a fucking buddy. for every single good Wii U game, it's about six of them that are terrible. The same thing happened with the Wii. That's the, the Wii. That's the. That's the really fast fucking car ride. That's what, okay, like the first one's good, and then Mario locks the doors and starts speeding up really fast, driving dangerously, yeah. and I'm just like really unsure. They're nervous. They don't really want to hang around with this new console very much. <laughs> You know, but then he stops and he goes to a gas station and gets everyone ice cream for a second, and then it's really good for like that brief moment. But then fucking he speeds up again, just like fuck, stop. Yeah. And then, and then what? we're coming out, and then Water goes, "Oh, we have a the game everyone has been waiting for. It's like we're gonna get our old company Retro Studios to make a new a Metroid Prime." And I was like, "Holy crap! We got like faith, faith in Nintendo is restored now. Like after that announcement, faith in Nintendo is restored." Yeah, and then they fucking yeah. it, <laughs> like Like you know, Capcom like, does with Mega Man. Look, I'm gonna nail you, you to leave the safe room. <laughs> it's like, hey, we got ourselves like four games here. Four games that will sell like four million units each. Let's cancel them all. No, let's get for it. I'm gonna need you to find me a working copy of Maverick Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> it was... That should have been the story for fucking Zombie yeah. U. <laughs> it's generally finding... Five people! I never reckon the story should have been Maverick, to generally yeah. find every single copy of the cancelled Mega Man games. Just going around going, Dude, Oh my god, I just found Mega Man Legends 3. It's like, holy crap, and just taking it away. And then started playing it, it's like, so that's why it was cancelled. 
It's like instead of going, that's why I mean, it was cancelled. God, dude, it's like if we talk about this anymore, fucking like I'm gonna go into like my bathroom tonight, you know? I'm gonna look into my mirror. I'm gonna be like Miyamoto. 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 You can six times and he's gonna reappear. Miyamoto. Miyamoto. <laughs> <laughs> turn off the light, so they turn him back on, and there's just like blood all over my mirror, and it's just like Ocarina of Time HD remake. I'm like. Ah! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I would generally think that would, that, that would be what he would say, like, Ocarina of Time re HD remakes, like, oh no, we just had like the last console cycle, come please no more Ocarina of Time. I'm the Wii U! Oh, <laughs> it's like, but you can manage your inventory system on your Wii U gamepad, it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, we add Master Quest as well, it's like, oh no, no more! Master Quest, what's that? <laughs> The DS. Oh God! <laughs> it would generally. That's what I generally think it would be like. Four years down the line, there's like we have a we have an Asian console here. How about we just re-release Ocarina of Time in HD? It's like ah, uh, yeah. That would, that would generally sell like six million units. Yeah, I mean, our old fan base still hasn't died off yet. No. Yeah, I reckon that would be our last ditch <laughs> effort. Either make with Drew's Mars HD, or that HD. Why don't they just fucking like? You know, make oh, dude, did you hear about why they're not making a new Zelda game Cause, yet? Because it's just gay. Okay, they're re-releasing Wind Waker. Okay, because it's going to take them so long to make a Zelda game that they are eventually going to have to release Wind Waker, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword. They're remaking Skyward Sword for the yeah, Wii U. No that's not, that's not a bad show. idea. They're going. They're going all the way up to Skyward Sword before they release the new Zelda game. Basically, like Eager Raptor's life then. Yeah. It's like Eager Raptor. Yeah, I mean, pretty like, it takes like it takes like it takes like four years to make a get, make a make a cartoon that it turns out to be really really bad. They're like, oh my, They're like, oh my god, dude, let's fucking, not fucking don't, let's not fucking talk about that because sure, fucking, I'm sure Aaron cried a little bit over some of those <laughs> comments if he actually read. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see his newest one that he released like yesterday? I don't fucking know. You actually really yeah, it's something. Yeah, like, it's like which is better, the PC or the um or the consoles? It's just like two guys, just like one fat one and one thin one. One of them goes into the toilet and starts playing the PC. He's like, oh, "You're playing the PC?" It's like, "You know, I can't afford a PC." He's like, oh, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but how are you? you're playing Bugcraft? I can't play Bugcraft. You know, I can't afford that." It's like, by the way, I'm pooping. That's that's the end of the whole animation. Oh wow, I kind of want to kill myself. Yeah, myself. you're like. The basic, basically, Nintendo is the Eager Raptor and Jontron of the of gaming. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. They're like, they're like, hey, you like our content? We're gonna give you all of this shit that you don't fucking like, like constantly, and we're gonna tell you, we're gonna tell you that. Don't worry, this new format we came out with, this new format is going to fucking work. Okay, the Wii U will work, you know. And then like, yeah, it works all right. But what happened to all those really good titles that you guys were going to come out with? Oh, we're working on them. It's a <laughs> one. But the guys, I mean, it's been like a long time. Don't worry, it's going to happen. You know, and they released it, and then we get fucking... Wait, have, have there even been any major releases on the Wii U? Uh, Don't fucking say Bayonetta 2. Okay. Don't fucking say it. Okay, that was like fucking that company. They literally sold that to Nintendo because they were like, ah, fuck. We it's like to Japan's like, ah, screw. We're all at, we're all at Konami anyway, so it's fine. Let's just let's just let, let's just let them have a game. I bet they went Pretty to. Much, I bet dude. it was well, just I'm went to it. Platinum Games. Went, please, just give us a game. It's like, oh, we got we got like six games we can probably sell to you. It's like, please, just one. It's like Bayonetta. It's like, oh yeah, okay, we'll take that one. Oh, okay, Bayonetta. No, 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 dude. You know. What, what's it about again? Oh, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, really precise control scheme. With fucking very convoluted controls and it takes a lot of timing. You guys can get that, right? Uh, yeah. they, what, yeah. do you, what do you do if, if Revengers got sure. released in the Wii U? Like, Re Rise, Rising Revengers got released in the Wii U. It'd probably be a really good game, but I mean, they're not going to fucking it, do it. I don't, no, they wouldn't be able to play with a gamepad, though. The gamepad would never work with that game. 
No, but I mean, well, honestly, it could have, because I mean, that would have been kind of cool to like fucking be able to like. No, because like, the because like, the um, kinda, like, like, between the screen no. ratio and the controller ratio, it's too much for him to use a gamepad. Yeah, they could have done something like like something like an X spot or like an X-ray vision thing where you can see like inside of the gamepad if you were slicing like oh, that, like that, like that would have been fucking cool. Or like use the kind of like a detective mode for like, or that like you know the blade like, mode like you, you can, when you go into the blade mode like you can use the screen to slice yeah, that's it what I'm like because there are certain bits in revengeons that could have used that could have used that feature on the wii u yeah, like, if I used, yeah, like if i used what like your finger it would have made it like a little oh, bit more easy armstrong's you know? boss like, fight armstrong's yeah. boss fight that would have been the greatest godsend in the world if i could have used i could have used my hands to do it yeah, but the thing is, is that fucking Nintendo is not... Because if you look at it, Armstrong's boss fight, Revengeance, it needed to be really precise with your um, slices, otherwise you die. And then, because I don't understand why, but when they vertical, vertically slice in Revengeance, it does, it does not work. And when you, vert when you when you horizontally slice, it does not work, and then you die, constantly die, die. Yeah. On the Wii U... Yeah, I noticed that, like, the vertical, the vertical slices didn't always... And then on the Wii U, if you used your hands, it would have been much simpler. Like, you, could, you could have just done one, you could have just done oh, one yeah, straight, one across, like, one diagonally, you and you would have won the boss fight quite easily. You hold, the, you, hold the, you hold the left trigger, and then you just use your fucking index finger on, like, your right hand, you know, and you're just like, zip, 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 zip. zip. You know, it's like, that would have been fucking yeah. awesome. But, like, they didn't fucking do it, and they're not going to do it. It's like, oh, my God. They're not going to. Like, I'm convinced that the Wii U is just, like, I reckon one fail. day it'll come up with one good game, like the 3DS had to. Nintendo is fucking pulling all of their fucking plugs off. It's like, it's like the PSP Vita. Out. The PSP Vita has the exact same problem. It has no games. It has two. Yeah, and the games that it does have it has two. Shit, or like it has no, literally... It doesn't have... It, it has the Silent Hill Twin Six Shooter. Yeah, I know, right? That's yeah, I know, right? That's a it has Persona 4 thing. Golden. That's about it. it. Has... That's a really good game I know. That's on the Vita. Yeah, I mean, they have like... Yeah, I mean, they have like other games, but nothing that hasn't already been on another console. Like Persona is a good one. I'm, I'm saying, I'm just telling you, Persona is literally the only good one. Wait, what was that one fucking? You know what? And like, what was up with like Nintendo having all like these really, really original fucking games? You know, yeah. like on the GameCube, and yet they make, like, fucking oh. remake. Like for instance, like you want to the Wii U can make money. Eternal they they, Darkness they just too. announced Boom. it. Boom. No fucking. No fucking. Uh, yeah, the, the Wii U. U? The, it's on the Wii U in PC. They announced it yesterday. They oh, nice. kickstarted it yesterday as yeah, well. It's called, it's called the Sacred, um, the Sacred of Eternal. I was sitting there going. Holy crap, I'm excited. It's like, but that's just because they need money. But you know what else? What, why not Geist? Yeah, or what about, uh, Geist what, what about Jet Force Gemini? Or what about Conker's Bad Fur Day 2? Yeah, what about fucking Psychonauts 2? What about Banjo-Kazooie? What about Star Fox? What about fucking Kirby? What about fucking Mario yeah, RPG? What about, what about fuck? Oh, so God. What about those games? And, like, they're not... Yeah, like, what, yeah, like, what fucking happened... Those the Silicon Knights could have like, literally I made millions of Mental Darkness 2 in the space between the GameCube and the Xbox 360. They had to make fucking two humans for fucking, like, years, and then, and then they made um, X-Men Destiny, which failed. Well, that game wasn't bad. It was, well, that game wasn't bad. It was just fucking there was. Then, yes, they're like... We are announcing something that no one would ever expect in their lives. Like, Eternal Darkness 2, and one was like... Poosh! Everywhere on the screen. Yeah. I, mean, like, I just threw know, money. I, mean, I just like, got my butt up threw money at the screen. Nothing was happening. Uh, like literally, like, yeah, like literally, like you just fucking throw like fucking like your, the most expensive object in your house. You're like, I'm gonna throw it through my fucking internet. <laughs> like, I got the Kickstarter website. Just throw it. Here, take this base. I, I don't know what you guys can do for it, but I mean, if it'll fucking help you produce a good game for the Wii U, I mean, here, fucking base. <laughs> That's generally what would be. Oh, that was gonna be the selling game for the Wii U. There's a ton of darkness too. I hate how the only games I've ever seen on the Wii U are the ones that fucking come with the fucking. Wii U. Yeah, but none of the games really came in with the Wii U this time. Like it was like, unless you unless you got the Nintendo Land one or you got the um, Zombie U one. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Nintendo Land and Zombie U are the only fucking two games. Like aside from Bayonetta. Oh yeah, and then and then all the games are going multi-platform now. Anyway, like like Rayman Legends went multi-platform. Yeah, like you actually 
Yeah, but like you actually told me that like they fucking were like literally about to finish that game and make it a Wii exclusive, and then all of a sudden the developers are like, uh, yeah, no. literally February seventh <laughs> is a release date of. We actually, um, we actually want to make money. We don't want to lose it because they're too scared. Yeah, like, it's we want to be able to like. Well, dude, it's like they're pumping more money into the projects than they're gonna make after they release them on the fucking Wii U. Yeah, because look, look. look. They, all of the all of the developers are too scared to develop for that Wii U because they know it's not selling. They know if they release a game, it will only sell about like two hundred fifty thousand yeah. units at most. Then it's gonna fucking, yeah. it's, gonna fucking it's like gonna make up half of what they made, or it's gonna take like fucking all the man hours and all the fucking shit they had to fucking put into like that actual yeah. game. You know, it's to fucking make them only like, well, it's what much. it's what's happening you know, they're the, gonna... only, the other game that's coming out for the no. Wii U lately is Revelations Resident Evil Revelations that game already came out for the 3DS it's a, game already, yeah, and it's, a game already yeah and it's coming out for the Xbox 360 because Capcom now, Capcom's a sellout well, nah, look, look, you can say all and you want about Capcom, smart to release a platform, but it's sellouts for making it actually a good game. Yeah, I mean, they're sellouts, but at least, like, they're fucking sellouts with a yeah. little bit of gusto, you know? Because they could have literally used, Re they could have just released Re Revelations originally and cancelled Resident Evil 6. Well, I actually think, I actually think we might have hit a strong point here. I think Capcom fucked over Nintendo. Yeah, because it was, it was an exclusive, and I said, no, we're not leaving that as an exclusive. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, and then, like, Sega did the same thing. They're just like, fucking... Dude, you know what Nintendo should just honestly do this deal? Not give up. They need to fucking... Not give up. They need to fucking quit trying to make their own shit, and they need to just start making the fucking game. They need to, like, honestly, dude, put Mario on the It will never the work. It will never, it will never happen. It can never work. They need... Because they're gonna fucking... They're gonna fail. It's like, okay, you know, it's gonna happen eventually, because whenever they fucking fail, and they have to sell off their fucking franchises... Which Se do, Sega did it. THQ you know, did it. THQ's done it. Yeah, oh, but... Exactly, when their fucking company goes under, and they sell off all their fucking franchises to other companies, fucking... They're gonna... Mario's gonna be on a multi-fucking platform. Mario's gonna be, like, fucking the birthday song. It's gonna be yeah. public domain. Anyone can... You know, because the, it's fucking Mario. It's like, oh my god, I, there's so much potential with that fan base. There's so much potential with that fucking like, like honestly, like there is so much potential for Zelda. It would generally work better on the on the Xbox. You know, would. Zelda would be great on the Xbox. Zelda so would be great on the Xbox. Or the PS3 for that matter. The X, the Zelda on the PS3 could actually work. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean. Like, yeah, but I mean, but like, now we have these new oh, consoles no. coming out. The PS4's, the PS4's not, not even, win it. I know, the I'm PS4 will win it. I'm not, even remotely, I'm not even remotely excited for any of the new consoles, because for one, I'm not fucking, this like kind of plays into the Wii U. I don't fucking bite onto a fucking dog treat. To see I just, get I want you know, the like, PS4 I'll, because it looks I good. Sniff, I sniff, but... Whatever's dangled in front of my mouth, I'll sniff it for a good fucking, you know, like, couple fucking years before I sit there yeah. and scarf it down. Because, like, dude, like, had I gone out and bought a Wii U, I'd probably feel fucking pretty stupid. <laughs> I right feel now. stupid. I would. Like, you know, I'd be like, oh, all these awesome games that aren't going to come out are going to come out, you know? By the time I'm fucking 20, I'll finally yeah. be in Zelda. But I think... For today, like, I think we should end it there. Like, I think our opinions are like weird out completely. Well, I mean, we fucking. Well, I mean, we fucking. We fucking talk shit on. We fucking now, talk you shit probably on talk on crap on every single company as well. Oh, and Eager Raptor and John's Ron. Well, fucking. <laughs> yeah, fuck them, Jared. Alright, well, fucking, I will. Alright, well, fucking, I will definitely fucking catch you with my other one of these. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, gonna get this update. I'm gonna get, uh, ah, I'm gonna get this edited and uploaded. We'll see you guys later, and bye for now. Got it.